Good morning and welcome to Zingerman's Coleman Farms Plumbing at Coleman Farms. Uh, my name is Kieran Ailes. I'll be your host this evening. So we're going to have a look at the sump pump. So last couple of days we've had uh, problems with the sump pump overflowing. A couple of people think it's a different couple of things. It might be. Uh, but right now we're going to deal with the most probable cause, which is the sump pump or the grinder pump that's in here. So one of the devices that are down here in the basement is this box here that controls our sump pump. We can actually turn it on manually, leave it on auto, or turn it off. Uh, when I arrived this morning after hearing that it had flooded for the second time, uh, I found that the uh, sump pump was on off and not on auto. And as soon as I turned it on to auto, it started working again. So we're going to show us how to flick that switch and make sure it's in the right place. So just here, as we can see on the side, there's this little switch. We open it up, we twist it, and you can see this little arm pops forward. We push back on the door, push it away from itself, and then open it up. Now, you can see, like I do, if you don't know what you're doing, don't touch any of these things. But the switch we really want is this one right here, right above the red button, so on the top. And it says, pump, auto, off, or hand. So we're going to turn it all the way to hand, and you can hear it maybe in the background, but it's pumping out right now, and that's what we want. That's a good thing. What we need to remember is when we turn that switch back, to turn it back to auto, and very rarely off. Really, they're only going to work, work and off when we're going to inspect the sump pump, grinder pump, which we will do today. But I think the last night's problem with it overflowing was that it was turned off and continued to be off when it needed to be run. So I'm just going to turn it on to auto right now, and it won't need to run. I'm going to stop the video right now and then get the sump pump opened. I'll show you how to do that.